What I'm doing today is I'm out checking uh, for water and for muskrats. Because when it comes to opening, opening day, what I don't want to be is I do not want to be standing here in this creek because if there's water here then, there probably won't be very many muskrats. Because you can see, I mean, there is no water here. So there's no viable population that's breeding and waiting for me to come in and uh, harvest a bunch of them out of here. So I, I, on opening day, day, I don't want to be setting, setting my colony traps or footholds here or 110s because there's, like I say, there's no viable population. They've, they've either died from lack of water or they've dropped way back miles down and uh, you know, there's nothing here. So, but if I don't come here now, I'm not gonna know uh, that in November that there was no, no, no viable rat population here. What I wanna do is, is I wanna just pass this spot by in November because there's only so many spots to set when you're out, you know, setting rat traps a lot of times, unless you're on private, you know, strictly private property where only you have permission, which uh, a lot of times that isn't the case. But the thing is, I want to be in the best spots that I can be in. It would just, you know, drive by this spot and get to the next spot that I know where there was water, there was been rats there breeding all summer, and just pound, 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 pound on the best spots. If somebody else gets one rat that was here, I'd rather have the five that was down there where they were breeding all summer. You know, let, if you because if you, you can't get them all, you might as well give them the junk, let them waste their time here. So what I'll do is is like this spot ain't got no water this year. You know, uh, I'm gonna mark on my map number say number one on my on my in my notebook. I'm gonna write number one on my GPS. I'm gonna write no water. And then I'm going to put that symbol on there. When I get to the next spot that might have water in it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down number two, had water. And on my GPS, I'm going to put a signal, uh, a symbol for the water that it had water. And then I can correspond when I'm rolling on opening day or opening night, I can roll right past this spot and set up the next spot that has them down the road. And, you know, because you only got so many traps, you only got so much time, and you're trying to just keep burning up ground. You might as well burn up good ground, because it doesn't take any more time to burn up good ground than to, be, to uh, burn up spots where there ain't nothing or hardly anything. So anyways, uh, you know, if you want to be a rat killer, uh, this is one way to do it, is get out here at the end of August and September before we start getting the fall rains and with the water. Uh, you know, if everything, if we had a lot of uh, rain all summer, I wouldn't worry about it. But you know, on the years where it's drought, like it is in Northeast Michigan right now, where our water table is low in the creeks and stuff, I'm gonna go out and do this stuff. If you happen to be in Northeast Michigan, disregard every single thing I just said, uh, and you go do what you've been doing. Just don't